Hey, what up, guys? In this one, I'm going back to Spanish Bay for a revenge round. Last time I came out here, it was a mess. However, this time, it's a much different story. So let's head out to the course, see how I did. The goal here was to beat a 20 over 92. Wow, I hit that a million. <laughs> and we start off with the pop-up. That's in the middle of fairway. That's, that's all I can ask for. Just popped it up. For the second shot, we're just playing conservative here and setting up ourselves for a good third. Felt good. No, no, there's like ravine and shiz shiznit there, so. Unfortunately, this shot goes over the green and kicks off the back of the hill. Ah, get left. Missed right. And after watching this back, I'm pretty happy with this sandy lie approach. Not bad, I'll take that. And even though the Spanish Bay greens are pretty quick, we still elect for the bump and run here. So, so. So, so. Lately, the putting's been pretty decent with this new arm lock putter, and you'll see it on display today. Ah, okay. In oh. <laughs> for double, guys. <laughs> Once again, we're playing target golf here and picking a club that won't get us in the sand trap, even though I flirt with the edge with it here. Okay. Whoa. I almost went the trap. This green for sure. If the pin's in front, you don't want to be past it, and you definitely don't want to be where I am on top of the hill in the back. All right, guys, we're going to try. I'm gonna try a miracle here. I'm just happy I was able to get the club on the ball with the fence in the way, and then we'll have to make another chip. Okay. And of course, I'm not gonna be able to keep this one close. Hit your ball, hit your ball, please. And it rolls well by. Once again, we have a long putt for bogey here. We're unable to convert, and we're gonna end up being four Ooh. over through two holes. What's the thing that Tiger does? Is like he has a heads or tails coin, and if he moves it, he flips it on the tail side or whatever. I'm gonna go right for that white stick, call it a day. I've played this hole a few times now, and I'm still lost on really what to do. Whoa, drew it on accident. But we're really liking the position we're in right now. We missed the green left here. The wind's taking it. See how much wind plays? And of course, with a lot of green to work with, we're gonna do a bump and run. And this time, once again, the results are just so-so. Ish, it's not bad. At least this time we don't have a long putt for bogey, but a long putt oh, for yeah. par. Bang, bang. And we're able to convert the up and down. Let's go. Depending where the flag is. Oh, hang. This hole could play wildly different, and I don't mind it being in the front today. The green complexes are pretty tough here at Spanish Bay. As you can see, that hill. Oh, I thought it was going to roll a little more. And depending where you leave yourself on these greens, it can mean all the difference. Ah. Here we end up not converting our par. <sighs> and we'll have to settle for a bogey. This next drive, I lost it right. Oh, nah, I don't think so. I'll just drop. I was convinced it was lost. I was able to find it though, and luck was on my side. Ho, 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 ho. I hit that really good. And as you can hear from my commentary on the course, I hit it pretty close. Close nice. enough to convert the birdie here, and now I'm only four over. So getting a birdie usually ends up two ways. Finally. I get a load of confidence and I start playing yep. great, but mostly ends up in a post birdie F up. If it goes, it might be short. I might be right on it. Fortunately for me, it was the former. No. Even though we don't convert the birdie, no. uh -oh. I still have a decent look at par here. And we're able to get the par, so we're still four over at this point. This fairway narrows up oh. quite a bit as you go along the oh. hole, and there's hazard on the left, yeah. so we take a two hybrid here off the tee. Okay. And with being 180 out, I take the four hybrid out with some wind behind and end up sticking this one on the green. Maybe it breaks a little left at the end. And at this point, I'm just happy I'm giving myself looks at birdie. I'll break left. I'll break left. Uh. But what makes me more happy is that I'm still preserving the par even though I'm giving my birdie look and putt a good chance. Short. Go. Go. Here we end up in the sand trap, but I'm happy with that because last time I was in the reeds. I caught it bad. And if you know me, I'm just happy to be out and on the putting surface. And faced with the longest putt of the day, I greatly misjudged his speed and now I have a long testy one coming back for my bogey. <laughs> oh. The booty cheeks are in the way, but I'll have you know I miss it and we end up just getting a double here. I was telling John that was one of those golf shots. This hole appears to be pretty open, but for some reason, visually, it plays tricks on you, and you know you have OB right. 128 appeals, we'll probably play 135-ish. I got really lucky here. I pulled the ball, but the green complex is pretty wide, and I still grab a piece. Once again, we're faced with another long birdie, but a birdie putt nonetheless. Wow, it stays straight. 
Oh, hardest putt to hit sometimes is a straight one. And like I said earlier, being comfortable for this distance allows you to roll the birdie nice. putts more freely. Coming up next is an interesting par 5. If you go too far left, you run out of fairway pretty quickly. However, we're set up pretty good for our next shot. That ends up being top to oblivion. This next shot, we end up spraying to the right. Well, what the heck was that? And being just off the green with a lot of green to work with, you know what time it is. It's bump and run time. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Get in the hole. As you can tell, we're loving the results. All right, not bad. You just got to make sure you convert. I just, I just rammed it. I'll have you know, I'm already five strokes ahead of my last round. All right, this next hole has a turtle back green, so you need to be in a good position for your second shot. With only about 100 yards in, even though we chunk it, there's some forgiveness here with the distance, and we end up being on the green. And at this point, we're just happy that, once again, we're putting for birdie. Stay up. Oh! And even though it didn't have a chance, we're happy with an easy par. Just gonna fade it off of that uh, sand trap. This hole here, particularly hard because it's a long par four, and you need the distance and accuracy so you don't have a long, long second. This wind's a problem. I'm not gonna be able to hold the green. And as you can see, the second shot, you have to carry a canyon hazard and then have to stop it on the green, which is difficult if you have a long iron into it. Fortunately, your boy hit an amazing shot. I was even surprised, and now we have a birdie putt once again. Got it. And I got my guy here, John, hit me with a down low selly. So at this point, I'm playing a pretty complete round of golf so far, and I'm feeling really good on all fronts. I got took extra club. And the theme today with the putter is yes, having the confidence to roll the birdie putt by. Oh, stayed straight. But having the confidence knowing that you can make the four foot returner. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm gonna aim just right of those two people. Admittedly, oh. fatigue is setting in a little bit, okay. and we're starting to lose it with the driver, and it's starting to pop up, but it's in the fairway. We're taking the smart approach play here and making sure whatever club I hit doesn't flirt with yeah, the sand. Oh, this wind is might be another club. Oh, I pulled that. And unfortunately, we botched the shot into the green and pull it left. So all I'm thinking here is to get on the putting surface. Don't botch it and then give yourself an extra stoke when it's not necessary. And now at least we have a look at par. It lips out and we barely miss it. Snap. But that's okay. We'll still take bogey. Shoot. Oh, yeah. A little left. It's going to be a long second, but... The hole's a dog leg right, so obviously you got to hit it left. I don't mind being like a little long because I don't want to be short in the trap. Oh, four left, four! And we continue to pull the ball, and this was probably the worst hole to do it. I don't know if there's anything over there, but... Well, I'm all out of breath. Thank you, James, for finding my ball. Not gonna lie, this was probably the best pro shot that I made all day, considering the conditions. Wow. I am so happy with that. And now we just have another normal long look at par. And even though we don't convert, we're happy with the result. Oh, I preserved the two putt. <laughs> yeah. Aim for the open part of the green. Should fade over. Oh, I missed the ball. Stay out of the trap. Be short. Be short. What's up with me and par threes and sand traps? Oh, no. Get out. Oh, I'm be raking this whole trap before I'm done. If someone wants to give me a bunker lesson, let me know because I really need one. And just like the first two holes, we have a long look at bogey here. And we roll this one just a little Sit. bit too far by. Oh, that's still not good. And like I was saying earlier, having confidence from this distance for putting really makes all the difference. Save my double. And we pop it up center field. Oh, popped up, but just have a long second. But. And this next shot was probably one yeah. of the best shots of the day. We're hitting my super hybrid into wind uphill. And I kid you not, this probably ends up about three and a half feet from the hole. But unfortunately, we missed the birdie. Ah, no, no. uh, it's all right. I'm gonna just fade it off the last sand trap. So all in all, we're 12 strokes better than I was last time on this 18th tee, and I'm feeling great. <laughs> I can't reach. I will say I was able to reach it in two last time I was out, but with no wind behind me, there's no way I was reaching the green. Yep. 
So pretty much, I just laid it up to the distance that I'm comfortable with, around 100 yards, and we just put it onto the green and give myself yet another look at birdie. So this one ends up being close, but no cigar. However, I will say that I'm pretty happy about how this whole round turned out. I didn't let any blowups happen, and I pretty much recovered any time I put myself in a bad situation. Made a couple birdie putts, prevented any big triples from going onto the scorecard. And I will say, this is probably the best revenge round that I'll ever have. A difference of 11 strokes. So I hope you guys enjoy that one. Keep chasing, and we'll see you in the next one.